I saw like Nissan's new suppository shaped keys, but at least their new Micra looks much better. This is the fifth generation Micra. It's an all new car that's built in France alongside the Renault Clio in the very same factory. The two cars share a platform and engines, but couldn't look more different. The Micra is inspired by the Sway concept. And to be honest, it really doesn't stray too far from the Sway. It retains this really bold crease here that runs right along the car continues with the rear light cluster and then it fades away into the light cluster only to be replaced by more daring lines it's really one of if not the most bold looking uh, super mini that you can currently buy in Europe I've been looking at this car from all sides and really it doesn't have one bad angle. It looks really good. You hide the grill. See if I can fit it all in. The frame, yeah, there we go. Now while the whole design of the new Micra is rather successful, there are some details which don't look that good. For instance, this chrome grille detail here, it makes the whole car look like a rodent with its protruding uh, front teeth. It's so obvious, they could have called it the Micra Chew. Get it? These are the rodent's nostrils. Although in fairness, um, these blades here, lower in the bumper, they make up for, well, the silly looking grill. They're really quite a nice set of plastic blades. Yeah. This top of the line Techno model comes with big alloy rims, which only highlight just how small the brakes really are. They let you see the drum at the back. See how tiny that is? That looks kind of daft. This Techno model also has um, faux aluminum wing mirror covers. They look good, but it's, it's just plastic. It's the same, uh, same material that they used on these blades here. Yeah. And this blade detail here. And there has to be some at the back, of course there is. Yeah, there it is, complemented by some nice manly faux carbon fiber. Mmm, see how that flexes? That's quality right there. The company logo is integrated into this flat pane of um, plastic. And above it, there's the camera for the around view system. It also has a couple of creases on the roof. There it is. It also has hidden rear door handles, a very European touch. Inside the Micra is where you start to understand why this new model costs a few thousand euros more than the predecessor. It doesn't fill up market, but it's not a low quality interior. And the interior of the previous one was a low rent, low quality interior that you just wanted to escape as fast as possible. The interior design is really one of the best in class, I think. Especially this Techno model that comes with better, some better trim materials, like the squishy faux leather dash. A few years ago, this was only reserved for premium cars, 
but now it's trickled down to the masses. Same squishy material here on the door. It's uh, nice that it's squishy because you won't hurt your elbow on longer journeys. But despite the fact that this car is the top of the range model, there's no armrest at all. That's silly. Windy windows on the top of the range model. Not so good. Not all materials are great, but the places you touch are really pleasant. I absolutely love the steering wheel. It's really nicely shaped and it fits well in the hand. Makes driving easier. Um, although what I didn't like was just how rubbery and imprecise this feels. So it's now in second gear and it feels like it's in neutral. What else, what else, what else? More padded faux leather at here. Um, not the worst um, textile fabric material on the seat, although it's not the best either. Let's start up the 90 horsepower 1.5 liter Renault sourced diesel engine. A bit of a judder, but nothing too bad on startup. Now, while the infotainment system is not the worst, its screen is okay resolution and it doesn't look that bad to be honest when you put it in reverse and the backup camera comes on that's another story it's one of the worst and most pixelated and blurry images I've seen in any car yeah sure you get the 360 view thing but the lack of detail makes it hard to judge what you're actually seeing sometimes so yeah be careful with it. don't rely on it too much I need to show you this rather nicely lit um, smartphone compartment really underneath the center stack slightly rubberized so your bits don't slide around in there so yeah the new micro 